What's up guys, Moxification here. Now today, um, this is like a fix. Uh, not really a fix, more like a, uh, helping you get back from a bad, uh, bad Nand Flash. Uh, so here we go. So uh, we're just going to go through the example of what my circumstances are. So uh, basically, uh, recently there was a dashboard update uh, called uh, 17148. Then four days after we got another one one seven one five zero. Now this is these are the files for one seven one five zero, and uh, here we are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open them up. Uh, we're gonna put them on the root of the hard drive, not root of the hard drive. Sorry, uh, on the desktop. So I've got access to it. Uh, I'm just gonna disable the antivirus because normally it flags it for some reason. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna open it up. Uh, exit build. Uh, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, NAND flash. Uh, I mean, my I'm going to get my NAND. So to do that, uh, basically, I I'm showing you guys now. I'm basically I'm not breaking my JTAG. I'm just I'm doing a bad flash sort of. So this is going to be a problem that many of you will be having. Uh, not all of you, but many of you. So right now we're in the uh, the Flash 360. So I'm going to back up current NAND file. Uh, button equals save entire NAND file. It's gonna take maybe 15 seconds to go from zero to 100 percent. Um, and right now it's at 60, 70, 80. You know, it's going up fairly quick. Maybe even 10 seconds. But anyway, so back button. No, any any button to continue. Then back button. Then back button. Uh, so now we're back on the dashboard. Um, so now we've actually got a the the NAND. So here it is. So what you're gonna do is uh, I, I'm what I'm gonna do is. Uh, I am going to get this, move it to the uh, desktop, uh, make a backup of it. Uh, because the, the backup is the one thing that you're going to need to basically fix this. You're going to need the backup of your NAND. Uh, and so, yeah, we're just going to... We've got a backup in there, and we've got the NAND that we're going to be using. Uh, so now we can minimize that, minimize that. I'm going to open up the flash, uh, flash dump. Uh, and then I'm going to put my CPU key in. Uh, there you go. CPU key. Copy and paste. Um, and then. There you go. It's on that one. That's what I want to have it on. Uh, and then we're going to include dash launch. Uh, and everything else is good. You know. Whatever. So. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to do the generate hacked image. So this should take a couple of seconds. There you go. Done. And now you're like, oh, look, so now we've got the NAND, uh, we can put it back on the console, and that's all good. You know, we're all happy, it's all good, uh, it's going well, you know, as anyone would think. Now we're just going to load up Flash 360 again, uh, and now we're just going to write the uh, UPD Flash to NAND. Uh, and then uh, Start button to ignore and continue, A button to begin. Uh, then that goes from 0 to 100%. And then it's going to say it's going to turn off the console. Now that's, you know, all good, all normal, you know. Uh, there you go. Uh, any button, back button, back button. And then it's going to shut down. It's going to go from 5 to 4, 3, 2, 1. And then it's going to shut down. And it's all normal from now. Now, what we do is we unplug the power for a couple of seconds. Uh, normally about three seconds. People go longer, but it's not. You don't need to do it longer like a couple of seconds because uh, it, what it does is it resets the time so yeah uh, now we're turning it back on and you might be able to hear it from my mic I don't know probably not I don't know maybe you will uh, and it's loading and in a minute you should see it come on there you go and when it, it starts to load up and then in a couple of seconds it's gonna freeze and you're gonna get a fatal crash intercepted now that's not good uh, but it's easily fixable uh, and to fix it what we're going to do is you're going to download the files in the description uh, and the files are going to be let me just turn off the JTAG itself and minimize that you're going to download uh, the let me find my USB here it is let me plug it in you're going to download the raw flash v4 and that's going to allow you to um, basically reset your you know your JTAG, uh, like using your backup NAND, which we have here. So let's open up the uh, USB. 
here it is so what you're gonna get is you're gonna get uh, a folder called flesh uh, raw flesh v4 I, I just show you basically what you're gonna do so you get the folder called raw flesh v4 and then you're gonna have uh, all of these files uh, in here uh, and you're gonna have this as well uh, but it's gonna be like a 0 KB file uh, and then what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna drag all of these onto the USB stick from the folder you don't want to drag the folder itself you just want to drag everything you know um, like all of the stuff and then you can exit out of that and you want to keep that safe just in case you need to do it again sometime and then you're going to get your update basically your uh, old one your old NAND so the backup NAND and you're basically going to copy that and you're going to paste it uh, into the removable disk which is your USB and you can exit out and then you're going to delete the NAND flash dot bin and you're going to rename yours your flash dump to NAND flash uh, dot bin and then that's in there now what you're going to do is you're going to remove the USB stick you're going to plug it into your JTAG make sure it's in properly because you know you don't want it to uh, not be in properly because that's not going to work and then you're going to load Zell and if you don't know how to load Zell you're going to press the eject button uh, and that's how you load Zell and I'm just going to open up the HTTP VR so you guys can see what's going on so uh, it's loading now I think yeah it's loading now and you guys should see it about now there you go uh, and it goes down the list it just goes uh, through a load of things um, and then it should say uh, in a bit something about a USB um, and sometimes it won't pick it up but in this case I think it has uh, has it? Uh, I don't know if it has uh, maybe we'll just turn it off and turn it back on just to check because I don't know if it has actually picked up the USB uh, but yeah, it will say something about USB, and it will, you know, tell you if the USB has, uh, is like in, and then, you know, we'll, we'll show you in a second. I'm just trying to make sure the USB is plugged in properly. Because my USB is a bit dodgy, it's, uh, it's really, th I don't know how to describe it, it's like, it's like there's a mother, oh wait, it just turned it on, right, wrong thing. Uh, um, you'll basically press the eject button to boot into Zell, uh, and I press the on button to boot into the dashboard, which isn't going to do anything. Uh, it's not gonna work if I do that. Here we go. It's loading now. Mm. It's taking a fairly long time. Ah, you know what? Let me turn it off and turn it back on again. Uh, cause you know when like you turn off, you when you turn on your console and turn it off and you keep doing it, sometimes it freezes up. That's what's basically happening to me right now. And uh, I'm not going to end the video because, you know, I'm going to basically go through it fully and truthfully. And I'm not going to lie to you uh, about stuff. And I'm not going to make it quicker and easier. It's, it's just uh, I'm showing you guys how to do it. And I'm, I'm just having problems. I've done it again. I just turned it on by the power button again. Right, it's off. I'm pressing the eject button. Okay. It's loading. Second, it goes back in. Uh, it's, it should be good. You, you might have heard that. I don't know. And the moment of truth. Here we go. Now we're waiting for the USB thing to come up. There we go. Initializing, there you go, my storage device. There we go, and then now. So now it's going to go to the black screen, and then it's going to go through uh, a load of things. It's going to go from, as, as, as you can see, I'll put the mouse over it right there. Uh, it's going to go from like zero all the way up to 400. So right now it's at like 100 and something, 150. Uh, you know, you, you guys can see it going up right there. And if it's too if it's too small, uh, then uh, like you guys can just go from my word. You know, like right now it's at three hundred. Uh, no, not yet. It's nearly at three hundred, and it basically needs to go at four hundred. Uh, and it only takes about uh, twenty seconds to do this bit. And what it's doing right now is actually writing your image back 
so like they got image written uh, shut down now so what you want to do now is turn off your console remove the USB stick from the console make sure it's off first as well uh, you don't want to pull it out when it's on uh, and then turn the console back on um, with the not with the eject button with the power button uh, and we'll just wait for that to happen uh, and it's taken a fair long time Uh, just to say, it does sometimes take long. Um, I mean, like, hey, hey, here we go. It's booting. I'll make it big screen. There you go. And uh, just to show you, it's not a fatal crash. It's loading. There you go. Mox has signed in, and it's loaded to the dashboard. And we're back on the old dashboard now. I'm waiting for a fix for the whole thing, so then we can actually get on. Like, I mean, people are already on, but. There's just problems with certain things and stuff. If I can get a working thing, then uh, I'll uh, I'll make a new video and show you that it's working and that. But if I can't, then I'll just leave my Xbox on this dashboard. Uh, a bit ago, I actually uh, downgraded the dashboard to uh, 1991. I don't know, I forget. It was really low. It was like 1991 or something. Uh, and it was blue dashboard. And I was just messing around on there for a bit. It didn't really work properly, but, uh, you know, it was okay. I, I could mess around with it. Uh, but, yeah, so that's going to be it. Uh, the download for the Raw Flash will be in the description. Uh, and uh, thanks, Moxification, and uh, goodbye.